The Reproductive Medicine Educational Series presents What You Need to Know About PCOS, prepared by Dr. Paul Robb. Compliments of Repromed, the Toronto Institute for Reproductive Medicine. What is PCOS? PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. It is a syndrome and not a disease. A woman with PCOS may experience irregular or absent menstrual cycles, acne or facial hair due to high androgen levels, dark patches of skin on the neck, arms, breasts or thighs, skin tags, excess weight, many small cysts in the ovaries, and infertility. What causes it? Unfortunately, the cause is not yet known. There is likely a genetic component as women with PCOS are more likely to have other family members with it as well. The main problem with PCOS is that hormones become altered. Understanding the effects of PCOS. Androgens, male hormones, become too high. This causes more cysts to grow, but not to ovulate. It can also lead to acne and facial hair growth. Estrogens, female hormones, can be affected too. They don't go low enough to stimulate a rise in FSH to cause growth of follicles. As well, they don't go high enough to stimulate an LH surge to cause ovulation. In addition, LH levels are usually higher than normal, which in turn stimulates more androgens. Understanding the effects of PCOS. Insulin, which controls blood sugar levels, does not work as well, so higher levels are required just to keep blood sugar normal. This causes the ovaries to make more androgens. It lowers the protein that binds up androgens, so those androgens are more active and cause symptoms like facial hair growth. Progesterone levels are low, which over the long term may lead to cancer of the uterus. These hormone alterations cause positive feedback loops that continue to exacerbate the problems. This diagram shows the importance of hormone fluctuations through the course of a woman's cycle. How is PCOS diagnosed? When two of the following items stand out, irregular cycles, signs or symptoms of elevated male hormones, polycystic appearing ovaries on an ultrasound. Further blood work is then done to rule out other problems that might mimic the syndrome, such as alterations of other hormones, thyroid, prolactin for example, adrenal gland problems, and male hormone producing tumors. What are the problems of PCOS? Infertility, weight gain, aesthetic problems such as facial hair, oily skin, dark skin, or skin tags. It can be linked to metabolic syndrome. These problems include elevated blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, diabetes, and heart disease. It may also create problems with the uterine lining due to the lack of progesterone production. How is it treated? Lifestyle modifications that help cause weight loss is beneficial for those who are overweight. Losing just 5% of your body weight can help correct your hormone imbalance and make it easier to get pregnant. For those who do not desire a pregnancy right away, but wish to address the symptoms of PCOS, may use birth control pills, diabetes medications, consider surgery on the ovaries, or drugs to reduce the effects of androgens. For those wishing to achieve a pregnancy now, they may consider ovulation induction agents like clomiphene citrate or gonadotropins. Diabetes medication, such as metformin, is also an option. PCOS expectations. In a pregnancy, there is an increased risk of higher blood pressure and gestational diabetes. However, it is positive to note that with treatment, women with PCOS are usually able to get pregnant. For more information on this and other reproductive services, visit www.repromed.ca. Repromed, helping dreams come true for over 20 years.